Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Marseille against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. We can have a look at them now. So it's down to business here. Le Classique, a truly special occasion, north versus south. Paris Saint-Germain against Marseille, France's major game. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, I'm going to say the Uruguayan Cavani. His willingness to put so much effort in is why he scores so many goals. And that also translates to his defensive work in pressing, chasing and tackling. It's all there from him. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Maxwell. Real chance! He's got away with one there. Well, this is how to grab a game by the scruff of its neck. Front foot football with real intent. to win it back Thiago Motta Maxwell Rabio Maxwell Marquinhos Aurier Thiago Motta and it's Aurier good challenge he just stood firm Evra. That'll be a throw. Rabio tries to dink it in. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Where to next? Can he put it away? Goal, Marseille! <laughs> Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier.
Marseille give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Rabio takes it out to the wing. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. He's gone for it! It's in! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. certainly made things interesting yeah it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored you can easily lose focus and then bang you're pegged back again tries a through ball has a pop that really should have hit the net Marquinhos picks it up from the goal kick. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Thiago Motta. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Lucas Moura, Tovan, pumps it forwards, Cavani, Cavani, he's away! Salso, passes it through, tried to play it through, yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right, but... Importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Maxwell. Now the pass. has crossed the line and it's a throw Drexler with good energy in defence as well you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here that intervention was very necessary. And it's Sansom. Looks like a good ball through. Defected behind for a corner kick. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Sansol crosses into the area. Now it's Lasana Diara. Good stop. That wasn't easy. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter. And I think his instincts were well, they were just razor sharp. Gets it back. Paye is the guilty party there. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Marquinhos. Now 
out to the left it goes. Now it's Rabio. Chance! Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Salso. There is the half time whistle. So we reach the halfway point. I think it's been a joy to work on, Peter. We've seen a, an open attacking game backed up by some terrific effort from both teams. I think 1 1 is about right, but it, it could have easily been a higher score draw. Who knows what way it'll go from here. So in they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score 1 1. Out wide to the right. Towering header! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. to get it away Draxler and it's Cavani looks to slip it through Rabio with the ball through it's a loose ball it's a long forward pass Sanson Sanatiara. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's Cavani. Cavani passes it through. Now it's Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura's cross. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Actually not getting too tight which is interesting no it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or or intercept so nobody can get in behind Sanso Paye he's being picked on here yeah Peter and it looks like this defense will go tooth and nail to prevent him from uh, from getting another Rabio and it's Cavani tries a through ball can he score goal Paris Saint-Germain and the comeback is complete well, you've got to say the odds on him missing from there were very slim yeah and teamwork was key to that a beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box change here there's a man waiting to come on Paris Saint-Germain take the lead yeah for me this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit now it's Cavani Sanatiara. Paye. Away from immediate danger. Marseille hasn't yet dipped into their subs. Paye looks to slip it through. He's come loose. He's dealt with that well. Lucas Moura. 
Well, this man's contribution is, as you would expect, proving terrific. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Paye. And it's Evra. Tova. Throw it. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Sneaks it out of harm's way. It's a throw in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tova looks like a good ball through. A chance! Great reaction! So close to drawing level. Yeah, the rest of the team can thank him for the fact they're still ahead. That's fine work from the keeper. Averted for now. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out muscled. And it's Pastore. Who's going to make this theirs? Thiago Motta does well there, alert. Now it's Drexler. A oh, glorious footwork. Now the pass. Well read, he sorted that out. Pastore passes it through. It's in! And with that goal comes comfort. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Paris Saint-Germain could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Thiago Motta plays it out to the wing. Wonderful quick feet. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Pumps it upfield. The final whistle. Marseille have some soul-searching to do here. Having been in apparent control, they have allowed it to slip away. The end of the game. Reflections? Yeah, defeat in, in any of these type of games is, is the ultimate disappointment. You can't fault the effort and the endeavour we saw, but they probably just lacked a, a little adventure and not enough ambition in their play, and ultimately I think they paid the price. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.